That is the Indominus Rex's Roar. Let's hear it again. Hey guys, welcome back to Jurassic Collectibles. So we've got loads of Jurassic World merchandise on the channel right now. If you haven't seen our toy and Lego reviews, check those out. Links are in the description down below. But today, we're gonna to be taking a look at this. It's the brand new Jurassic World book where dinosaurs come to life. Now this is a hardback book. As you can see on the front, we've got this gorgeous picture of the female Tyrannosaurus Rex. Now what's cool about this book is that it works with an augmented reality app that you can get on iOS and Android. Um, and it's super cool, so I can't wait to show you. I'll just show you the back cover quickly. So, just a little bit of information about the book. So you've got a nice picture there of the Tyrannosaurus Rex roaring. The other two images we have seen in the trailer already. Now when you pick this book up, you might be thinking, oh great, there's loads in here, it's really thick. But actually no, the hardback is padded. It's a padded book. And that means that there's actually not many pages contained in this book. But if I'm honest, you're buying it for the gimmick of the app and it really is very impressive and worthwhile. So let's get started and take a closer look at the book itself. So if we open up the book, you can see inside we've got this beautiful Jurassic World logo set against blue, where dinosaurs come to life. And you can see here we've got a really nice illustration of the Velociraptor roaring there. These two pages on the inside cover just run down how to install and activate the app. It has three modes. We'll be going through that in more detail in just a bit. But first, let's have a look at the printed book itself. On the first page, we get an introduction to Isla Nublar, where Jurassic World is set. And you can see here's the island map that we've seen on lots of Jurassic World merchandise. And we have a key. Over here, we have a rundown of the attractions on the island, a more detailed map of the attractions, and a key again. On the next page, we get a summary of the Valley of the Dinosaurs, which is where the two children take their gyrosphere ride in the film. And you can see here, we've got a nice key showing the journey that they take and the dinosaurs that they'll see. Interesting to note that they've got the silhouette of a brachiosaur here. And uh, as far as we know so far, there aren't any brachiosaurs in the trailers for Jurassic World. So we're not sure if we're gonna actually see brachiosaurs in the film. Um, so far, we've only seen apatosaurs. So hopefully, we're seeing some brachiosaurs. But at this point, I'm not too sure. We do have a nice illustration of the Stegosaurus there, down in the corner. And on the next page, we have a bit more about the genetics behind Jurassic World. Um, all of this is fairly standard. Um, the DNA is extracted from mosquitoes trapped in amber, as we knew in Jurassic Park. Uh, there is a little bit here about messing with nature. And it says, these daring and evolutionary creations are Jurassic World's biggest achievements. But there is always the danger that the DNA sequencing could get out of control. Now also up the top here, it says Jurassic World, and it says genetically altered DNA across the top, 99.7% pure. So it seems to me that the film is gonna focus on the fact that the DNA of the dinosaurs has never been 100% pure dinosaur. And that, that's kind of making me think about Dr. Wu and the power that he wields. On the next page, we get an introduction to the Tyrannosaurus Rex. And T-Rex Kingdom is the paddock where the T-Rex lives on Jurassic World. And uh, you can go and see the exhibition on Jurassic World. Now this is an activation page. These red boxes mean that these are activated by the app that we're gonna take a look at in just a bit. So there's lots of information about the Tyrannosaurus Rex and a lovely picture of her there. Now, it's interesting to note she has scars across her neck, and uh, this indicates that this is the same Tyrannosaurus Rex that we saw in the original Jurassic Park, because that's where the raptors slashed her neck at the end of the film in the visitor's center. On the next page, we have an introduction to the Mosasaur, and it gives us some nice information here, and this lovely illustration of the Mosasaur with its jaws open. And you can see here the Mosasaur devouring a shark. Up in the corner, we've got this lovely logo, Jurassic World Isla Nublar Lagoon, home of the Mosasaurus. On the next page, we've got an introduction to the Stegosaurus. So this is the same illustration that we saw in an earlier page, but bigger. And again, this is an activation page. So this does work with the app. The Mosasaur page does not, but this one does. So whenever you see these red boxes, these are an activation page. Next up, we've got an introduction to the Apatosaurus. 
And I really love the sculpt of this guy. He looks absolutely fantastic. This is not an activation page, but I really love the illustrations on this page. Really bright and colorful. On the next page, this is an activation page, so this does work with the app. You can see a Triceratops with its baby Triceratops. And we've got some nice information, some lovely illustrations there. And up in the corner, we've got an, a little logo, Baby Triceratops Jurassic World Petting Zoo. So I get the impression that children will be able to pet this Baby Triceratops, and who wouldn't want to do that? On the next page, we have the Flighty Gallimimus. And there's loads of information here about the Gallimimus, a really nice illustration of the CG model. And up in the corner, we have this really nice Jurassic World Diamond logo with the conjoined JW at the bottom. On the next page, we have the Raptor Squad. Now, these are the four exciting members of the Raptor Squad. We've got Charlie, Delta, Echo, and Blue. And we'll learn more about them in the film. As you can see, this is an activation page. So this does indeed work with the app. So I'm really excited to see what that does. And up in the corner here, much like the original Jurassic Park, it says here, danger, high voltage, 10,000 volts. Okay, then we've got a page that summarizes the pterosaurs in the film. So we've got the Dimorphodon swirling down here, and we've got the Pteranodon up in the air gliding high. Really, really cool. Love the illustrations here. And I love this little logo up here. It says Jurassic World Pteranodon Peak, established 1993. And on the last page, now this page is stuck to the back cover, so that's it. That is the book. Uh, we've got this beautiful illustration of the Indominus Rex. And this is the new bad guy in Jurassic World. He is, of course, the hybrid dinosaur made from loads of other dinosaurs. Uh, whether you like that idea or not, he is in the film and he's the new bad guy on the scene. Now, he does have an activation page. So again, really excited to see what he does in the app. Right, let's get on to that app. Now to run the app, I'm gonna run mine on the Lenovo S850. This runs Android. Now the system requirements for this app are the iOS version 4.3 and above, and Android versions 4.0 and above. Now because I'm on Android, I use Google Play Store to download my apps. So I'm looking for the iCarlton AR. The AR stands for Augmented Reality and you download this app. Um, if you're on Apple devices, you wanna to go to the App Store and download the same app. With the iCarlton AR app opened up, you can see you've gotta choose a publication that you want to use with this augmented reality feature. So we want the Jurassic World publication. Then we click Activate AR. And now there are loads of different modes. I find the one that works best at the moment is single user, so I'm gonna use that. And then you can either look at the instructions or get started, so let's get started. Now it's looking for the activation box using your camera and you can see as we move around the camera's active. So let's move the camera over to the activation box for the T-Rex. Once you do, you'll see that we have here projected a Tyrannosaurus Rex on top of the book. Now this is really cool because as you move the camera, you can actually get closer or further away from the digital version of the Tyrannosaurus Rex. So it's like it's in the room with you. How cool is that? And it's a really nice looking model of the Tyrannosaurus Rex. If you press this button here, you can make him roar. Really cool. Now it gets better. Over here is a joystick. Now if you move this joystick around, you can actually walk your T-Rex around the room. How cool is this? Now this button down here, I'm not sure what it actually does because when I press it, not much seems to happen. I assume that maybe it's supposed to be used in conjunction with this joystick, but it doesn't seem to do very much at all. And you can see as he's walking, he's actually leaving cracks in the ground and there's clouds of dust appearing where he is walking. How cool is that? When you're happy with your T-Rex, maybe you've got him stood next to one of your family members, you can take a picture. And it will save the picture for you in your gallery or wherever you want to save it. So that is really, really cool. So let's take a closer look at some of the other dinosaurs. Okay, on to the Stegosaurus. And here we go, look at the Stegosaurus. There he is, in all his glory. And there he is doing his defensive call and swinging his tail when I hit the raw button. Now again, you can move him around. So you can have him walk around. 
And the animation on this is really, really nice. Really organic feeling. Just super, super excited about this app. I really, really love it. And you can get close up and take a look at this dinosaur using this app. Okay, time to take a look at the Triceratops. And there he is. Now I feel with the Triceratops here, he looks a little bit like he's made from plaster. He's got this very, very sort of bumpy surface skin. Um, but it's pretty cool. And you can see I can walk him around. And again, he leaves cracks in the floor as he walks around. Really, really cool, and you can make them roar. Really cool. So, I really love this app. Let's make him walk over here. Okay. The raptors have four modes. You can actually switch between the different raptors. How cool is that? So you get the whole of the raptor squad in this app. And then if I press this button, he will do his roar. There we go. And you can walk him around. <laughs> now he doesn't leave a crack in the ground because he's not so heavy. But that is really, really cool to see him. He's a bit quick actually. He looks almost like he's doing a comedic walk. But there he is, walking around in all his raptor glory. Okay, last but not least, here is the Indominus Rex. Look at this guy. It's the new bad guy on the scene in Jurassic World. And most importantly, let's hear his roar, his movie accurate roar. It's something we've all wondered about, so let's do it. Well, there you have it, folks. That is the Indominus Rex's roar. Let's hear it again. What do you all think? That's the sound of the Indominus Rex. Okay, let's walk him around. So he's got a really nice organic walk. And you can see his really long forelimbs. Really, really cool. I love this app so much. There's so much fun you can have with this. Brilliant. Now there is this life-size mode. So if I click on this and start, you'll see that it looks for the activation box and it creates the Indominus Rex as it did before. Now what's different about this mode is if you press the plus button here and you can see that he is now enormous. So you're looking at a full-size Indominus Rex. So this is really good for a photo opportunity. And as you can see, we're kind of passing through his other foot at the moment. But if you were outdoors, you'd be able to get a really nice shot looking up at the Indominus Rex. So I'm gonna shrink him back down. And there's his roar. Really cool to hear the Indominus Rex's roar. So that's the other mode. Now, the only other remaining mode is the dual user mode. The only difference with that is you have two people using tablets and they can work two dinosaurs both on each other's screens at the same time and walk them around. So you can have a lot of fun. You can create your own little herd of two dinosaurs and walk them around, take photos. So that is really, really cool. So there we have it, guys. That was today's look at the new Jurassic World book where dinosaurs come to life. I really, really love this book. As a Jurassic Park fan, it's great to see an augmented reality app with so many features. Um, I would say if you don't have a tablet or an iPhone, this book probably isn't worth picking up. Um, you don't get very many pages. There's not that much in terms of illustration that we haven't seen already on the internet. So what do you think, guys? Are you gonna pick this up and try out the augmented reality feature? Let me know in the comments down below. If you haven't already, make sure you enter the competition on the main page because we're giving away loads of Jurassic World merchandise and toys, including the massive Indominus Rex bad boy. And we're gonna include this as a giveaway prize with the second place Tyrannosaurus Rex prize. So we're constantly adding to the giveaway. At the moment, you can get a Tyrannosaurus Rex, uh, scam band and this as second prize and there's loads of other prizes to be won so do go and check that out links are in the description or you can go to the channel homepage. okay guys in the meantime rate comment and subscribe and i'll see you in the next video